Hi, I'm Rear Admiral Bet Bolivar, Commander Navy Region Northwest. August 28th is Women's Equality Day. First established in 1971, this particular date was chosen because on August 28, 1848, the women's suffrage movement, or right to vote, began at the Seneca Falls Convention. Although our Navy, like all military services, is steeped in tradition, we have in fact often been more progressive than our civilian counterparts in allowing women the opportunity to succeed. Women first entered the U.S. Naval Service in 1908, more than a decade before they were granted the right to vote. In 1948, the first female officers and sailors were sworn into the regular naval service at a time when very few women were in the workforce and even fewer in positions of leadership. Women were first assigned to non-combatant ships in 1978, and opportunities were later brought in to include service on warships in 1994. And then in April of 2010, the Navy began allowing female officers to serve on submarines and we are proud to have some of those first female submariners right here in the Pacific Northwest. In today's Navy, from seaman recruit to admiral, and from civilian intern to senior executive service, women have skills, responsibilities, and rewards far beyond that of their counterparts in the civilian world. Women who choose a life of naval service are blessed by the opportunities given to us by those who came before us. In that list of pioneers and supporters, we must also include our male counterparts, whose belief in equality has helped make our Navy truly one team, the finest Navy the world has ever known. I encourage you to learn more about the roles women have played in our Navy's history by visiting the Navy History and Heritage Command website, or you can visit Navy.mil. It's important to look back and realize just how far we've come and to celebrate our contributions. But whatever makes us unique or different, we must all leverage our available talent and expertise to meet our important Navy mission. So let's work together toward a Navy where everyone is allowed to contribute a full measure of their skills and talent. And let's continue to lead the way. Thank you.